Hey everyone, so tonight I'm doing a review on the Marvel Legends, uh, I'm forgetting the series already, Space Venom, uh, Boy Body, you know, younger Peter Parker, Spider-Man. Uh, this was requested a while ago, so I'm happy to finally get to it. I'm still working on my lighting, so if it's kind of, please just, again, I know I keep asking, but just let me know what you think of the lighting. Hoping it's getting better. I'm still not fully done with it, but I figure I'd still try to do a little test run by doing this review with it. All right, so first we'll check out all the accessories. All right, guys, so this Spider-Man comes with the Peter Parker head, which I think looks really cool. Hopefully the lighting is letting you guys see this and do it justice. Um, but I think it's just a really nice looking uh, Peter Parker head sculpt. Definitely very young looking. Obviously you can tell he's a teenager, but I think it looks really cool. It's got a nice, uh, you know, crazy parted over to the side here. It's kind of shaved in the back and he's got the longer in the front, but the eyes are looking uh, straight on there. You can, uh, nice brown eyes. Doesn't look like he has any wandering. The hair is nicely sculpted. There's not really any paint detailing on the top of his head or in the hair at all. It's just more of a brown plastic or brown paint. Um, got the straight eyebrows. You can see his white teeth. For all, it's, a, it's a good head sculpt. I think it's done very well. And then he's got um, another four interchangeable hands. So you can see he's got the wall crawling hand or the palm hand. He's got the flipping hand and a fist. So, very cool. And they're all nicely painted as I looked over them. Uh, I think the line work looks really good. I um, haven't seen any. That I, this one's got kind of some chunky plastic on this one. You can see on the back here. Hopefully you guys can see. Let's see there. You can see. Hopefully with my lighting. You can see some of the extra plastic. And then this one's hands are kind of the fingers. They're a little warped as you can tell. But nothing the little hot water won't fix. All right, so getting to the figure, I really like this Spider-Man. I think it's a very cool looking, um, you know, boy body uh, Spider-Man. I really like the big eyes. I think that looks awesome. I like all, I mean, the line works great. They they really did a great job on the paint to me. There is some little, you can kind of see on the hanging on the back of his head there. There is some um, extra plastic, but overall around the eyes, I like the black paint around the eyes. I think that turned out nice and clean. You can see some splotchy right there. Ah, I need to cut my nails. <laughs> but the white eyes, I think, look really cool, like I said. And you can see like the outline of his nose, kind of above his mouth. But again, the webbing on his head looks really nice and clean. Nice, clean line work. Very good. And then coming down the front, he's just got the more of that, you know, spider webbing. He's got the little spider on his chest. Looks nice and clean. He's more kind of a darker blue to me, but still a flat uh, blue paint. There's not really any gloss to it. But I really like all the webbing. I think it looks just clean. So I hope you guys can see all those nice line works. Very really nice. Even on the inside of the forearm here. Again, we do get, the, I know everyone complains about the red pegs. Um, it would be nice if the inside were at least painted blue. I know a lot of people say that, and I'm, I'm definitely one of them. Um, it just looks funky to me. It looks kind of, I don't know, it just doesn't look right. <laughs> but the line work throughout this figure is a little scuffing right there on this side. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, but overall, the webbing looks good. There's a little smear on the crotch area. I wonder if you guys can see that. I don't know. Hopefully I get this lighting done uh, right and it starts looking really nice for you guys. But again, it's just that more of just that blue and the webbing continues on his feet. But just straight, you know, crisp lines. It looks really good. I love that classic looking spider on his back. I think that looks awesome. This is the new uh, younger uh, body, you know, young boy, you know, boy buck they call it, um, body mold. Which I think is just awesome. So it's a go over the articulation. Head looks straight up. Looks down that much. Looks left and right, and kind of rock it back and forth. Uh, he's got ball joints in the shoulders, nice and clicky. They move up about that much without rubbing into it too much. Move forward and back. He's got a bicep swivel, um, no armpit joint or anything. Uh, double jointed elbows, uh, wrist rotation. Also has a hinge at the wrist. 
like a nice, nice crunchy ab crunch. But look how far he bends down. Looks kind of funky in the back. But I mean, that's a good, you know, you can get some good poses with this guy. It's awesome. And he goes back about that much. Nice and painted on the front here. He's got a waist swivel and it's nice and tight. You can kick up very far. Uh, you can do the splits. Nope. But you can spread decent. Uh, he's got an upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees, boot rotation, ankles move down, they move up, and he does have the nice ankle rocker and peggles the bottom of his feet. Now I'll go ahead and pop off his head and show you the Peter Parker head. There we go. It definitely looks like a young, you know, very young kid. Um, I did have a request to see the Toy Biz box set, uh, stay standing, Beast uh, glasses on him just to kind of give him the, he wanted to see if he looks more nerdy, uh, figured why not give it a try, they'll probably be a little big, but at least we'll get kind of a little laugh out of it, yeah, <laughs> yep, definitely have to keep looking for glasses, plus I think they'd look better with black, uh, to me, I don't know, little black uh, arms, but we'll go ahead and check out, see you guys, oh, and I'll just show you real quick. How to change the hands. I haven't done this too often, so you just pull that off. We'll give them the warped fingers. Come on, camera. There we go. We'll go ahead and give them the warped hand. There we go. My fingers. But yeah, they just plug in and off like like all the Spider-Man that we've, you know, that we've currently have had. But we'll go ahead and check out this uh, Peter Parker Spider-Man. I'll go ahead and show you guys how tall he is and check him out next to a couple other Spider-Man. Alright guys, so Peter Parker Spider-Man stands right under 6 inches tall. And I'll, I'll just do a quick measurement uh, with the Spider-Man mask on. There we go. Yeah. Give him the fist up, right? Okay. And he is same height. Not much of a difference. Um, but I'll just do a couple comparisons with a few of the other Spider-Man. I didn't grab... Every single Spider-Man in my collection to bring down, and I brought three with me. But leave a comment if you want to see him with a certain other Spider-Man. If I have, as long as I have them in my collection, um, I'll definitely do another comparison video. If I left something out that you're just, you know, really interested in seeing, I have no problem doing that. So here he is next to the um, the little uh, the, the Comic-Con exclusive uh, Spider-Man from the Raft. And here he is next to the Scarlet Spider-Man from the Rocket Raccoon series. And here he is next to the X-Men, or Spider-Man Classics, uh, Black Suit Spider-Man, just to kind of give a, an array of kind of comparisons, since I figured the, you guys have seen a lot of the pizza Spider-Man. But he's definitely, I mean, you can definitely tell he's a teenager. He's about a head, about a head shorter than... The raft Spider-Man, little, eh, not a head, but just above his mouth. And if you see him next to the um, Spider-Man Classics, around the same. But oh man, he just won't stay. And then here he is next to Scarlet. But there you go, guys. Um, that's my review of the Peter Parker Spider-Man from the Space Venom Wave. Um, please leave a comment. Um, hit the like button. Let me know about this lighting. I'm going to keep improving it. I don't like it still, but I figure you guys would probably appreciate a review. Um, I may just start, you know, I may redo this review depending on how much better the lighting gets. But to me, um, it's still not up, you know, to what I would um, like. But definitely let me know in the comments about the lighting and what you thought of the review. Alright, thanks guys. Hope you have a great night. And please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't. Alright, take care. Bye.